get into nursery schools first, a process that's painful and often impossible for parents across the country. Of course, there is a way out, paying up, but how many can actually afford to do this? On the white piece of paper, it is printed 35,000 rupees, no, uh, you know, uh, missed checks, it is only cash without any receipt. Even list is not confirmed, they are just trying to give us an assurance, if you pay right away, it will be, uh, your children's name will be on this list. Cashing in on such helplessness, dozens of parents are asked to pay for a seat for their three to four year olds in nursery. The nursery nightmare is at its worst. On an average, one seat for every 50 applications in top schools, it goes up to 90 applications per seat. Knowing the odds are stacked against them, many parents apply to dozens of schools, paying up to 500 rupees for each form. Yet they say they won't be surprised if they don't make it anywhere. This is happening, then why anyone should pay 10,000 in buying prospectus? Rather, he should save this money for donation. But money doesn't always ensure a seat, as some have learned the hard way. He was asking for 8 to 10 lakh rupees. But they are not asking directly. I am ready to shell out that money also. But I have, don't have the source. As the rapid flourishes, schools dismiss any wrongdoing. Somebody is asking some money or something on his own. It should be reported to the police and they can be recorded okay. illegal, immoral and it should not be done. Those who are doing, they are doing criminal offence. But on forums like these, the list of violations is by the dozens. This online site started by Harris Admission Seekers is proof of it, with more than 500 complaints registered. O overall, the scene is really bad and the parents are not happy with the online submission of a lot of schools. Getting into uh, Delhi for nursery admission has become tougher than Harvard. It's been a hectic start to the new year with schools selling application forms from the 2nd of January. Many parents taking days off from work to buy these forms. Others are busy and looking at loans for their child's education at the age of four. Overpriced application forms, building funds, all passe. What's trending this admission season are advanced bookings. And schools seem to be quietly telling parents that the offer is open to the state class. In Delhi, Mikulsu, NDTV. Well, Kulsum joins us now for more on the story. Kulsum, everything in your story indicated something that's an open secret. It's entirely illegal, but everybody knows it. A lot of people are willing to do it. Pay up, get your kid into nursery school. This is against the Right to Education Act. It's completely illegal. What does the state government firstly have to say about what's happening in Delhi? Officially, the state government says there's nothing amiss and if there is something amiss, there will be action taken. We've seen uh, Mr. Lovely uh, give notices to three army schools uh, for violating such norms. But, you know, the worry for parents beginning at three to four, like a parent out there saying that it's easier to get into Harvard than get a nursery admission. It is quite true. You go across to schools, they're supposed to have online forms, but you can register online, but you have to physically go to school to pick up the form. Now, what parents say is the reason why they do it is because they are not selling the forms at 25 rupees. You have to buy it along with the prospectus, which is about 500. Which I trust you are good with math. Take about 25 applications, multiply into 2, 50, 500. That's, that's the amount a school is getting with every application. And you know what? 50 applications for one seat. That's the kind of madness that there is. I've seen parents actually take leave from work. And uh, the, the, the wife is one school, she's traveling to three schools picking up forms. They just want the forms will get over and one day the, the, the school is just going to say the forms are over, so sorry, you know, admissions closed. Though officially the forms are supposed to be sold till January 16th, every rule in the book is being flouted because some schools are already saying that, you know, the forms are over, what do we do? And then there is the EWS category. You know, this is going to be a long fight. Last year when the RTE came into force, a lot of uh, schools were very cautious. They thought there is a law in place, we have to consider everything. So the age criteria was taken, the neighborhood criteria was taken. You know, there, there, are, there are points that you need to gain. If you are close to a school, you get higher points. And the higher points you gather, you are likely to get the admission. But this year, somehow, everything has fallen apart. You know, uh, there is a case going on at the Delhi High Court for the past four days. Uh, there is a discussion going on that. There's the age criteria. There's also this thing whether schools can use KG as a feeder to nursery. So that is also going on. So why all this is on, parents extremely hassle because they just don't know where to go. And plus, with a lot of people who are, who, who are looking at uh, application at a private school because of the EWS category, the public schools are completely ignored. Nobody 
really wants to get into the public schools. There are so many seats vacant. There are 4,500 schools in Delhi and the NCR. But what is happening is, it's, it's just uh, 2,000 schools which are private schools. Everyone wants seats out there. Be it the snob factor, be it the elite factor, be it the facilities factor. A lot of people don't want to send their children to public schools because they believe there are no basic facilities like good news. So that's the reason. So parents have their viewpoint, but then at the end of it, every principal you speak to, they have they say that I have two 200 seats. I can give 200 applications and that's that. Beyond that, we have to have good schools. So if you know, this story is not over right now. Right. Our, our, after Jan 16 when the forms are, are all sold out, we'll still have a lot of these cases and many of them go to court. Kutu, thanks very much for joining us and telling us more about this open secret about how difficult it is to get in your kid into a nursery school. Thank you.